Today, are you guys ready to call out my friend Cubby Bear? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, Cubby Bear! Hi, boys and girls! Hi, Cubby! Hey, you seem as excited today as you normally are. What am I? What about two friends today? Wow, that's wonderful! Timothy and I were playing on the playground on that play for swan. We swung on the swings. Slid down the slide and climb down the big uh, cruise ship. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Well, it was. While we were sliding on the slide, two girls came to play. Really? Who were their names, Cubby Bear? Anna and Charlotte. <gasps> they both liked our blue vests. Well, you know, your blue vests do look very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anna asked why there was an A on our vests. So Timothy told them. That's right, boys and girls. Do you remember the A on your cubby vest? It stands for all. Like Romans 3.23 tells us, all have sinned. That's right. And Charlotte noticed the big C on our vest next to the A. Timothy remembered what he learned of cubbies and told them all about the C. That's right. The C on the vest stands for Christ. Do you guys remember Romans 5.8? Christ died for our sins. Anna and Charlotte really wanted blue vests like ours, so Timothy invited them to come to Cubbies with us. That's wonderful, Cubby. Did the girls' parents say they could come to Cubbies with you and Timothy? Whoops! I forgot to find out! I'm going to go right now and ask Timothy if Anna and Charlotte can come to Cubbies with us. Okay! Bye-bye, boys and girls! Bye! Cubbies, Timothy used his best to share the good news with Hannah and Charlotte. It's an awesome thing to think about sharing the good news of how Jesus came to die for our sins with other people you know too. We'll see you again next time. Bye!